So here is the well, section window are the former uh, class we have uh, finished the stratigraphic correlation, and we can close this window. And uh, about the seismic, in, uh, seismic data input, we have done that. We have input the seismic data. So how to check? This seismic data. We can check the place and uh, some some data. So in this in this part here, we can do some some work. For example, we can we need to cut cut some data. How to cut? Just right click and uh, here insert virtual cropped volume. Here. And uh, you can, you may move the green point to change the scope. And uh, here, and uh, you can move this to change the ten, the ten, and. Uh, here, double click the seismic data. Double click and uh, click the cropping. You can change the number here. From 440 to 700, yeah, you can input the number and the cro cross cross line range. You can from first to to uh, two hundred and ten, and uh, the vertical range, you can get a accurate number. Yeah. Okay. So how about the escape? If you input the escape, is zero. So this is. Uh, the origin, the data, uh, uh, data. If you input skip one, just uh, have half, half data. So here we just uh, use the original data. Okay, now. Again. Hide this, just show this, this one. And uh, we can change the vertic vertical scale. Okay, this one. Now, we need to do the next step. Just uh, right click here and uh, click the lines. The less we can check the amplitude range, amplitude range, and uh, the less here, here is a uh, realization quality. You can change the quality. Floating point, thirty-two bit. 
So it is realized the uh, volume size is uh, 684. Uh, and uh, if you change the quality into integer 16 bit, so you can get a small size. So the integer 8 bit is the smallest size. And uh, here, just uh, less this one. Or this is original, original quality, quality, quality. Click the less. Click OK. So here we can check the task. Task. It's a running process. Okay, so now we can hide this crops and uh, just show the realized data. Realized data. We can get the E9, X9, and the Z. Okay, click here. We can get the date scope. Date scope. Okay. So that's a date, date cropped and uh, realized. And we need to uh, interpret the fault and uh, horizon. Just uh, right click here in nine and uh, create interpretation window. Here, yeah. you can use the mouse uh, middle bottom of the mouse to zoom in or zoom out. Okay. How to interpret the fault? So at first we need to uh, check the feature of the fault. So the fault is the reflection, reflector and uh, have a brick, a brick. A brick of the inflector. Here, here we can, you can see here is a fault. So we need to uh, interpret the fault. Now, at first we need to uh, click players, and uh, click the intersecting player. Here, and the increment is ten. Again, move step by step and you can press the page up or page down to the same work okay now we begin to interpret the fault interpret the fault at first we need to click the seismic interpretation and uh, here, seismic interpretation, the toolbox, toolbox, and uh, we can close the execution action and uh, close the worst correlation. Okay, here is the seismic interpretation uh, toolbox. So this, this one, in, interpret fault, click. Active the interpret fault, fault, interpret fault, and uh, here there is a low area fault, and we can interpret here. So no active fault. So, so at first we need to uh, insert here, insert a fault. So here is the fault name. The default is fault interpretation one, and we can change the name, rename. 
foot one or F one. Okay. Now here is a foot interpretation. Just uh, click here. If you want to interpret the foot from the top to the bottom, double tick for the end. Okay, so that's uh, that's the first foot, and uh, <coughs> page page down. Click here. move to next page and uh, interpret here the same foot you need to uh, interpret the same foot same foot just uh, the former page and the next and the next here you need to remember the place and uh, interpret the, this page and the next page, maybe, yeah. Next page, okay. Next page. You need to uh, interpret one by one. Okay, this is uh, the other stats. So we, we need to do that work from the other side. Here is a foot and uh, move to the next page. Next page here. page this disappear this page, this fault disappear okay so we need to interpret the another fault we need to insert a new fault name this is a uh, Foot, foot two. Okay, need to interpret the foot two. Okay, here, yeah. This is foot two. Okay. And uh, here. Maybe it's disappear. Here is for two. For two. Sorry, this one. 
So if you want to change the results, you can click here to move, to move or add, add a point. Just uh, click here to add a point. Maybe <coughs> click foot and uh, it's a uh, foot two. 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 Just uh, press page down or page up to select the page. Here, we need to interpret another port. Double click, okay, the name, for 3. And uh, here is the for 3. Okay, I would interpret the four three here and uh, four three. Four three. Maybe here is uh, disappear, disappear, and uh, here is foot, a foot, a new foot, foot four. So you need to uh, interpret all the thought page to page. Okay, disappear. So you can open a 3D window to check the thought. Thought 1 is here. Thought 2 is this part. For three, this part, and uh, for four. So you need to uh, interpret all the faults. Here, another fault. So you must use one fault to interpret the same fault. The same fault. So you can't use the fault four to interpret this or this. 
so you can check. No, it's it's wrong. It's wrong. So how to delete that? How to delete? How to delete the wrong false interpretation? Just uh, come back and uh, click click the uh, eraser. But this is uh, active. This force is active. Okay. No. Check. And uh, you can delete some wrong point in this 3D window. Yeah. Just erase here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to interpret this fault, you need to add a new name, fault name. Your fault name. Maybe here is fault 5. Just uh, interpret. And uh, Here, disappear. Here, foot five, foot five, uh, disappear. Here, and uh, interpret this one. We need to add a new name. Foot six. For six, for six, disappear. For six, here is a Y shape fault system. Okay, here it's uh, disappear, disappear. This fault disappear, and here you need to add a new fault name. Fault seven. To interpret here. Okay, you can, if you want to change the place, just move the point and uh, here. Okay, disappear, disappear, you can come back. So here are some other fault. 
aqui é esse foto for and uh, interpret this fault then new name for eight Okay, here is a fault. Fault nine. Come back. Uh, there are some other faults here yeah. new fault for 10 to in interpret all the faults So, I think I have uh, interpret some some thoughts. Yeah, you can check here yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fault interpretation. Okay. Now, how to do the interpretation of the horizon? Here, yeah. we need a. Uh, Click here, wells, but the wells do not uh, show here. So we need to double click, double click wells to build a uh, time depth uh, relation. Time. Just uh, click, check short, move to the top. And uh, apply to all wells. And uh, we can from shared or from this. We can use a shared TDR. TDR is a time depth relationship. We can, and we can use this one. This one. Share, share. Okay, except uh, one way time only. Okay, sorry. Uh, 
share, share, share check shot here. Check shot because this is check shot data. Uh, just uh, click the wheel. Check shot the wheel field and uh, many and just we can use the wheel tops one. And uh, here, important is to uh, click run. We must click run. OK. Now, click OK. Now we can check here. If we change the domain to TWT, it's a uh, 2-8 time. It's 10 domain. Now, each wheel can, can show in 10 domain because we have uh, built uh, the one way time, one way time, built the TDR from the shared check shot, shared check shot, okay. Now, Let's come back to the interpretation window. And uh, here, move. So just uh, click again. Click again. It's uh, the it's show on the window. Okay. Now, because this section, in this section, here there are too many wheels. So we need to set the interline, uh, inline, double click to input setting. The di distance limit is 1000. It means the uh, distance near the search distance 1000 meters near the section will be shown on the section. So we change change to 100 meter. So it be, became it became this and uh, 50, 50 meter and uh, it's just only four or five. And we can change to 10, 20 meter. Just one, just one. Okay. Page, page, page. Okay. Now, we can shoot the we are top. We are top. Here. Yeah? We are top. And uh, height. Just uh, show some important. Yes, two bolt one, two two bolt, two seven bolt, six bolt, two seven bolt. Yeah. And uh, this should be the number. We need to change. Well tops attribute. The default is should the lead. We can change to surface. Surface. And uh, double click the well tops and change the symbol. So this now it's square. You can change to cross. Okay. And uh, the black color, change black to white, white. And uh, double click, surface, the place, position to the right, right. So we can check this reflection is uh, yes one bolt, this is Yes, two two bolt. 
and this one must be to the input. If you want to use the check short as the time depth relationship, you can interpret this here. Horn. Insert new horn. Okay. It's here. New horn. Horn one, horn two. It's the uh, default for one. Just uh, change the name, the name to T E S one bot. Okay. Just the interpretation. This one. Click here. Okay. These tools. The first is menu. Menu interpretation. Second is guided auto tracking. And third is seeded 2D auto tracking. And this one is seeded 3D auto tracking. Now we can show this one. The first manual interpretation you just interpret nito by nito. Yeah. If you click the second, you can interpret. Yeah, here is fault, fault, and uh, this one, this one. You can here, and uh, this one. You can try, try it. Maybe this part, this part, this part. This is this. This one is this one. This one is this one. And uh, here, maybe this is this one. It's auto tracking, auto track. Auto tracking. Auto tracking. Yeah. And uh, auto tracking. So this this place you need to uh, use a menu to interpret. Okay. And uh, you can press the page down to the next page. OK, here, it's wrong. Here, we need to erase. This and uh, yeah, and is this okay? You can change the fault. You can change the fault here. Click the fault and uh, active the fault. Maybe this is fault four. Active and uh, move the point to here. Okay, active this to track, track. Which one? Maybe it's here, here? And here, you need to erase. So if you use the Auto tracking, maybe get some wrong result here some somewhere. You need to change and uh, erase and uh, revise. Yeah, revise. Okay. Now we can check here. 
And uh, here is a uh, horn. We have interpret. And we can hide all the faults just to show the horn. We have interpret this part. This part. And we need to, sometimes we need to open a new window, X9, and right click and create interpretation window here. Just check this one is the result. We have interpret the fault, uh, the horror. Now you can, sometimes you can track here, 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 here. And uh, this one, this, this part, track, auto track here. Yeah. Maybe somewhere is a uh, fault. Or the track here, yeah. maybe here. Here is a fault. So you can show the fault in the X9. So it's uh, some nice. This is fault, fault. Fault, here is a fault, here is a fault. <coughs> Maybe this one is this one, and uh, this is this. Okay. So we need to do the interpret here. This is uh, X9, X9 is here, in 9 result. Okay, it's, uh, this is uh, interpret by the menu interpret, uh, get it auto tracking. And uh, Z 2D auto tracking. So we can interpret some some reflector use uh, 3D so we can insert a new name here just uh, horn 2 just use this name and active this if you want to interpret this Now, we show this. It's 3D auto tracking result. Here. But uh, we need, need, don't need this. We can delete. Here. We can delete somewhere. Okay, just a uh, new use this to track track the this one the track use the three D auto tracking. Click here, click here, it's, it's done, but there are some wrong place, some wrong place, somewhere it's wrong, the sound. Okay, this part is wrong, I think. Add this, and we need to erase this part, and uh, we need to check. The 
check this part, which Okay, we erased this one here. Erased here. Just uh, this part. Erased. This part. This part. This part. This part. This part. Okay, let's check. Erased this part. This part is wrong. So we can erase all this, this part here. If you want to enlarge, just press plus. It become big. The eraser become big. This part is wrong. Okay, now come back. How do you know it's wrong? What? How do you know that it's wrong? How do you know that it is wrong? Wrong? How do you know it? Because the, the, the track here is a fault. So this, this is uh, uh, foot wall, and this, this is hanging wall. You must hear. And this is a hand, foot wall and a hanging wall. So the track, you need to compare the, com the reflector. Yeah. Reflector. Here, maybe this is this one. This is this. So you need uh, this is uh, here. This reflector is here. Just uh, give a new seat. Give new seat. Give new seat. And uh, here, so this part, the smooth color is a smooth steps. And the different color, it means different different tips. So there may be some, somewhere is uh, wrong. Okay, now let's check. Here, it's wrong. So this part is wrong. So we need to uh, erase this part and uh, check, check page. This part is erased. So this part is wrong. So we need to uh, is this all this? Is this, this all this part? Maybe. Okay, now we need to give a A correct, correct result. This part. Okay. New result. New result. Because here is a fault. Maybe here is a fault. Here is a fault. Here is a fault. So you need to interpret one by one. And uh, if you, if you use the three D. For the track, you need to check the wrong error and erase and uh, and give a new seat, a new seat. If you use the 
manual track, you can get uh, some this. The increment is 10. Increment is 10. So in the finish, all the interpretation of the horn. So that's uh, uh, that's the work. So you can practice this this part. And uh, here I have inter uh, introduced the uh, system in input and uh, cut and realize. And uh, this synthetic generation we have skipped. So the next class we, we will interpret that. So we have uh, introduced the introduced, uh, fourth interpretation and the horror interpretation. So you can do that and uh, practice this part and uh, okay and uh, finish the recording. <laughs>